I think we're good. Hey, everybody. Hey, Limus. How you doing? Today we're trying out Toho Artificial Dream in Arcadia, which... Hey, Shrike. Apparently, according to Shrike, because he recommended this game, I don't need to know anything about Toho. Which is great, because I don't know anything about Toho. There's a knife lady who pauses time sometimes. Gensokyo. Yes, oh, this is going to be great. Far removed and isolated from the outside world, it's a fantasy land. The fantastical is the mundane. Where yokai and other mythological beings freely roam the land. Where magic is real and religion is more than mere superstition. Getting the good ending is easy, okay. It's a dream come true for someone into the occult. We are Sumareko at the something shrine. Wait, wait, explain this to me again. That smartphone- Oh no, she's a hick. Isn't that the lady from the first game? That's what I know about Toho. You can use it to talk to people extremely far away. It can record memories. You can use it as a map. See, it's just technology, but it sounds like magic to me. There aren't, um, titles for us to know who's talking. You open a photo on your smart smartphone <laughs> and show it to Reimu. Whoa, it's a cat. How did it fit in there? Echoing footsteps can be heard getting louder. Guess my inner Boston is coming out. Sumareko, Reimu, a yokai stole some books from Corin. We need to get, we need to get him back. So can't you do it by yourself? Actually, didn't you say you wanted to stay home for today? Well, I had a change of plans and I left my hakero at home. Well, I'm not going anywhere. It's such a no nice morning. I don't want to ruin it over a trivial matter. What about you, Sumareko? You work for Corin, right? Hey, don't worry. I'll keep an eye out for her. Let's go. Wow, we're just right in there. All right, that yokai should be here. Try not to get lost, okay? So, oh, oh, that is a turn. All right, let's try some buttons. Well, there's a map. Uh, this is a dungeon crawling game. Uh, all Toho based, obviously. And I know nothing about it. Oh, she's better than us. She's, she's a whole four levels above us. What do we got? This seems very classic. Uh, but I was, when I was perusing the trailer, it, there were a lot of modern things slapped in here. Alright. I think I can... Yeah, I can slide left and right. I wonder if there's a... A way to make that transition faster. Y yeah. Chest. Three times life shard. Oh boy. Is there a mini... Ah, there we go. That's better. I hope I don't... Don't, I hope I don't have to test walls. Oh no. Ghosts. Kadamas. I have a- oh! Some, some people get guns. We have Tackle, which is weak physical. Agni, which is weak fire. And Medi, which is weak healing. I'm just gonna use my sword. Marissa has electric to one to all and weak physical to all. Hey, Vevel, how you doing? Uh, and she doesn't have a... She just has an attack. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Oh, she's dead. That is some very intense music. Or some ghosts. We got eight dollars? How do I get to the menu screen? Wait a second. I'll, fig I'll figure it out. Give me a second. I think... Here we go. Uh, turn confirm? Nah, we don't need that. Movement fixed? Fixed is probably better. Also, I was fucking with this. If we wanted to, we could change the background color, but I don't, I don't really care. Oh, is it Yen? That makes more sense. Oh, no. Whoops. It's back. That didn't work. One second. I'll find it. Hmm. That didn't seem to do anything. 
Well, it seems like it's random encounters, so I don't need to really look right where I'm going so far. Or maybe they're fixed encounters. Who knows? Do any of these walls look- Oh no! This wall had monsters. Now, yeah, it's not like it's Final Fantasy 1. If you attack something that isn't there, you'll swap to the next enemy. Amazing. 11 yen. I'm gonna level up in no time. I'm very curious if there are hidden... I mean, it seems like all the goodies are hidden behind uh, little, little doors. You catch the enemy off guard. Assuming I just get a free turn? Uh, so wait, who's hitting first here? Is it actually Marissa who's been hitting? Oh, Marissa's been faster than Sumereko. But we leveled up. We got eight. Eight more cents. Oh, we have to... Oh, no. I don't know what any of these do. Um... Hmm... That's how the game wants to be, huh? Why is intelligence and magic two different things? Maybe that's a magazine. Maybe that's gun. Uh, vitality must be health. Agility must be speed. Maybe evasion. Maybe hit chance. Uh, luck it might be a god stat or worthless. Uh, I'm assuming the game will tell me at some point. We're just gonna go all strength. Actually, does the game tell me anything? There are the stats down there. I cannot reach them. Uh, so she has higher agility than us, which explains why she can attack sooner. Her strength sucks, though? But maybe... I don't know why she was doing more damage. Wait, we have a gun in that picture! Oh no. Should we be using a gun? Oh no. Hmm. No, that doesn't help. Oh god, why doesn't this game have a- oh wait, phone? No. The game- I will believe in the game's ability to teach us later. There is- why would we not open the chest? We got a police baton. Item? No. Item equipped? Hey! Five damage. Pretty good. I notice I can't equip uh, Marissa here. I don't think she's gonna stay in the party. I think she might die- well, not die, because none of these people ever die. But she might leave. is still way stronger than us. I wonder why. God, these buttons. Our attack is much better. So why is she stronger? Hmm. Oh, we doing a, well. That makes sense that we don't have all the mechanics. Yeah, you got a bunch of health. I like that. If it's a single room with a chest, it just turns you around. Although, unless you know that's what's happening, you're like, wait, have I been here? It's unclear. When's the mimic? Oh, we got a hundred. We got a dollar. Can I one-shot these yet? No. That police baton is not as good as I would like it to be. Eight cents. Although we're leveling up pretty fast. Oh, hello, Rabbit One. Welcome to healing. Iron tie, Lagomore Pharmaceutical. Help, for sure. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. I'll heal any injuries you may have. Rabbit too, and I'll sell you any items you may need in your travels. Uh, heal me. For $13? Sure. Everyone is healthy. What do you got? Buy health shards for six a pop. Uh, oh, sorry, for... They have six. Or we have six? I don't know what that number is. I have six. They cost a hundred. What's up? What do you mean that abbreviation makes no sense? Your face makes no sense. 
what'll it be? Classic dialogue right here. Oh, that looks like it was a chest room. I'll get the, oh, it was nothing. It was literally just nothing. Is there, I think there's an auto button I can hit. I think it's, oh, it's X. There we go. We're probably gonna wanna auto unless like we're in actual scary territory. <sighs> okay. Um, speed also seems important. Speed also seems good. Because if we go before the enemy, maybe we don't take damage. First strike and all that. Also, we took a lot of damage from that auto play. I don't know if auto is actually a good pick or not. Oh, oh, it's right, that's Marissa. Hey, she's in that room over there. Make sure you're prepared before stepping inside. Okay, so that's a, it's a boss room. Yeah, auto seems fine. Unga bunga, but fast. The fastest unga bunga will be the best unga bunga. Another chest, a liberator. Item. Whip. A gun! Now we're talking. Now we're talking. I'm going to use a life shard. It's pretty good. I don't know how much it heals. It says it's weak healing, but am I. I'm probably so weak that my entire health bar still gets filled up. This is Yoka that reportedly stole the books. She doesn't look very strong. There she is. <laughs> you took her place. Let's beat her up and help Corrin get his books back. Okay, can I just use my gun? Uh, you. I don't know, try your magic. 15's pretty good, and gun is also good. How about I try Agni? You, you do your spell again. 15. 11. Gun is better. Okay. For some reason, she's only targeting me. I'm just gonna... Oh, shit! Speed also matters for item use. That's so. Normally, games let item use be first, like, no matter what. Just, just use gun. Why did I level up strength if I have a gun? Hmm. Oh wait, I have healing spells. What am I doing? Well, I should be using healing spells. But we leveled up. Maybe I pressed the trigger harder. Um. I, t I don't know what these these mean. Ah well, wasn't that fun? How was it? Were you satisfied with this little adventure? You know what? Yeah, it's boring. Well, it has been pretty peaceful lately. Something is waking you up. Me, Usami. Usami. Honestly, it's the last day before summer break, but you're taking it easy over- Of course everyone would! Also, are your eyes okay? I don't have a cursor, but he looks like he has a double case of pink eye. The class is over, you can go home. He's hoping you get enough rest so you can stop sleeping during class. You went home. Your summer break starts now. Oh. Alright. Yes. Oh, we're a nerd. Maybe we're not even real. It's time to sleep. I cannot do anything else. Oh. This could all be an illusion, which is, I don't, I'm, I'm not a fan of entire realities just in someone's dream, but you know. Oh, we're large. I have no buttons I can hit other than movement. Oh, okay. I didn't expect an overworld like this for some reason. I'm not sure why I didn't expect it. Is that a monolith? You rush to investigate the unknown object. Hey, Zumareko. 
Whoa there, don't approach this thing. We still don't know what it is. It looks like it has an entrance, but we haven't found a way to open it. it. Just appeared out of nowhere. No one even heard a sound. Would you believe that's not the weirdest thing about it? Copies of Gensokyo residents started appearing. These copies can't talk, so we started calling them sleepers. It smells like another incident to me. Reimu is in the human village ensuring that everyone is safe while I try to investigate. Hey, don't try anything funny. We'll solve this like we always do. You received, received a message on your phone. This tower emits a phone signal. <laughs> Show me a nuclear reactor. Along with the message, there is a download link to an unknown app. You download the app and install it on your phone without hesitation. Nuclear reactor? Yeah, there's one in the underworld. You just take a dive underground through that hole in the ground near the shrine and it'll bring you there. Wait, why do you need to know this? Whatever. As long as you don't interfere with the incident. There's a lot of questions about that interaction. Hmm, what if I try blasting with everything I got? Ah, oh, what's up? Did you return the books? What books? No idea what you're talking about. Oh, that never happened. Is this the human village? Oh no, I don't know who this is. Oh, it's just you, Sumareko. What'll it be? Well, fuck you too, buddy. Hmm, no, I don't recall anyone stealing books from here. Not recently, anyway. Hmm. Okay, we have one of these. We have one of these. Uh, and we can't afford- Wow, rusty rocket launcher. 50 grand. Hits all enemies. 150 gun. Hmm, I have to remember that. Uh, anything else? Oh, this device caught your eye. It's called a rocket launcher. It's a device that can shoot fireworks, I believe. <laughs> Although it's very flawed, it shoots so far you can't even see the fireworks anymore. Wow. This guy probably almost killed himself. Interestingly, we're not under attack in the overworld. Good you didn't... Good, you didn't mention the phone signal to Marissa. Not that she would understand. Oops, sorry, I was listening in to your conversation with my camouflage on. I'm Notori. This tower piqued my interest. Truth is, I also have a phone and received the same message. But there's a problem. I can't download the attached app. Seems like it's not supported. Strange. I thought it was state-of-the-art technology from the outside world. Notori shows you her phone. You've only seen bulky phones like this on the shelves of Corindo. Anyway, I'll need your phone for a bit, if you don't mind. I do mind. Oh, she stole it. She stole it without my consent, which is why it's stealing. Hey, you won't believe this. This baby has a special menu that allows you to do some cool stuff. It will allow you to spend SP, whatever SP is, for unique skills and even hijack sleepers to turn them into digital data. SP stands for spell card points. You should see the SP meteor on your screen now. Thanks for the data. Your help is invaluable. Oh, also, we have some Kappa terminals scattered around Gensokyo. I updated them to work with your app. You'll love this. We'll see ya. Thank you. I still I can't access. Oh, here's a menu. I think I'll do that. Here we go. Oh, it's not this. Nope. Okay, maybe it's on a different screen. Okay, I think that weighs progress. Hey, best Joe. It's a very strange game so far. Is this a blocker? The human village is on high alert. No one goes in or out. Sorry, but that includes you, Sumareko. Oh. Fucking rude. Can I walk behind here? Oh, I can. Oh. I'm trying to hit buttons like I'm investigating, but that's not how this game works. Probably for the best. If I actually had the ability to check every square, I would hate myself. Because I would do it. We came from here. Ah, right, let's just see if anyone's back. No one here. Does anyone know if this was a small team? Well, okay, it was obviously a small team. Was this a single dev? Was this actually, uh... Oops. Well. A Kasumi, who's in a barrel. Press Shift or X to access the special battle menu. From there, pick Hijack. Oh, there's my SP bar. Hijack. 
Shoot at the sleeper with A. For now, you will not take any damage, but try to dodge all the bullets regardless. Uh, oh god. I've been using the, uh, the D-pad. Is this actually a bullet hell? I don't know what part of me is the, the part I can't get hit. I'm assuming it's the very center, but I don't know. I did it. Jack attempt successful. Choose what to do with Kasume. Convert into party member? Kasume is now yours. We got no money. You can now add sleepies to your party. Press A to bring up the menu. Edit your party, select phone, and then party. Where, where is she? Oh. Oh, I have a running tally. Oh. Battery usage? I have a battery. Huh. And the more people I have with me, or maybe even the value of those people increase the percentage per step. Uh, so... Like, one person? Damn. That's crazy. How do I bring... There's my map. I wonder how I get more SP. Stats have a great effect on your character. Here's a quick overview. Oh, thank you, after I've leveled up four times. So strength is physical attacks, so damage and HP. Int is your magic defense and MP. Mag. Madge. Affects your magical attack and MP. Vitality affects your physical defense and HP. Okay, so it gives, it gives you raw defense. That's interesting. I wouldn't have expected that. Agility is your turn order and evasion rate. Luck has a small effect on almost everything, but particularly plays a part in your critical hit rate and affinity for status effects. Luck also affects all the damage you inflict, so a character with high luck will deal slightly more damage than a character with low luck, assuming every other stat is the same. But of course, you're choosing between luck and strength, or luck and gun. Got that? You only have so many points to so spend them wisely. For example, using physical moves on a character with low strength is a bad idea. None of those affected gun. None of those affected gun. Hmm. I guess gun is just the power of gun. Unless it's physical damage. And then... Yeah, I guess that does count then. Hmm. Strange. Maybe you walk up and hit them with the gun after you shoot the bullet. We can't say that we don't. Oh, oh what the fuck's a grimoire? Oh, they're, they're uh, challenges. Enemies deal less damage, ambushes no longer occur, hijack patterns are always in their easiest form. Enemies deal more damage, gain less XP from battles. A jack is replaced with a random chance to capture a sleeper. <laughs> Success chance is based on Sumerako's int and luck. Oh, so if you really don't like the bullet, uh, the bullet hell, you can just do this. Yeah, we're not gonna do any of those. Interesting. A magic gun is a good gun. We caught the enemy off guard, but the question is... That's my sword right now. Also, what the fuck do you do? Sure. We still do 9 damage. Oh. Wait. I don't even know this person's stats. I should have checked this person's stats. 17. That... That, uh... That fairy was weak to gun. Currently, there's no reason not to use gun. Which is strange. Usually there would be some sort of reason. You wish to know what status effects to do. Basically, they make your life way harder. Specifically, poison makes you take more damage when you walk around when an outside of combat, and when the turn ends when in combat. Paralysis makes you act slower and has a chance to make you unable to act that turn. Confusion has a chance to make you do something completely different from what you chose. Blindness drastically reduces your accuracy. And finally, sleep just makes you unable to act at all. So sleep's pretty bad. Also, here's a tip. Defending makes you immune to applying status effects, so keep that in mind. It also makes you immune to critical hits and weaknesses, but you probably don't care about that. 
I, that's nice. Oh, hey, it's the help. Everyone is health. Oh. I did not mean to leave. What you got? Wow, that's a bunch of stuff. So we can buy batteries. We can buy a burner phone to save the game on the spot. Magic fabric to teleport to the last visited anomaly. Assuming that's the teleporter. Antidotes, remedies, light ball, escape from battle. Sleeper alarm. Gain two SP per step to avoid enemy encounters. Oh, neat. Healing any status condition will cost you extra. Nothing personal, just business. Oh no, they last a while. Oh, just because I can revive sleepers doesn't mean I'll be able to revive you. If you die, you die. Okay. So our sleepers are expendable, and I should treat them as such. They're also literally NPCs. Well, I guess, whoops. Under. Yeah, put me back in there. Is this randomly generated? No, good. Buffs and debuffs are key to your survival in battle. You might think they're useless at first, but just wait until some enemy stacks three debuffs on you and three buffs on themselves and pummels you to death. Oh yeah, you can stack buffs and debuffs up to three times. Make sure you use them, or don't, whatever. That lady is helpful and also kind of a bitch. I don't think she, I don't think she, cares whether we live or die. Full discovery bonus? We we got some money. We got three life shards. That's nice. It actually tells you when you're done an area. They gain less XP than we do. Okay. Oh. What, I can't take these bones? What's up with that? Well, I guess we'll go up this castle. Palace of the Earth Spirits. Hmm, oh, a visitor and a human one at that. I have to escort you to Lady Satori. Please don't resist. You get snatched deeper into the palace. I guess. Thanks for bringing her, Orin. You may you may go. It's not often we get human visitors around here. Not live ones, anyway. I'm Satori, the mistress of this palace of the Earth Spirits. The giant monolith appears in the middle of the Gensokyo, spewing out countless mindless clones, and you are and you here. I can tell you have something to do with that. Still, I must must ask, what's a selfie? And why do you need to take it in a nuclear reactor? <laughs> well, if it's going to help solve this incident, I did a little investigating myself. I can tell you have some questions. What are sleepers? Mindless clones of Gensokyo residents. I can't read their thoughts as it appears they have they have none. They mostly act like their normal selves, but they can't talk. It's as if they're sleepwalking. I can tell you have some why do sleepers attack me? Sleepers mostly act like their normal selves. If they attack you, they must not like you very much. Fucking rude. Will you help me? No! Okay. See ya. The nuclear reactor is in the remains of blazing hell. The door there is protected by four locks, corresponding to each tower in the palace. You'll find a switch to turn off one lock at the top of each tower. I suggest you start here. The other towers aren't well maintained and may be dangerous. You try to solve this incident as fast as possible. It's creepy seeing multiple copies of myself wandering around. Oh. So, she wants this to be resolved, but will not help. Very kind. Oh. Keep trying to interact with them. Oh, no. No. Not go up. Probably for the best I don't have a cursor. Wait, or- oh wait, this is a sleeper version, I see. I was gonna say, that's kinda weird. Try ice attacks. I missed! Oh, she's weak to ice. Wait, what? She's slow? I don't know what Vayu Atama is. Hmm. Well, this is working. Wait a second. Can I hijack? What's special? Oh, we can look at their info. Oh, I don't know why we can see status from this menu, but that's fine. Why don't we hijack? 
Oh boy, bullet hells. Pretty sure I don't even have to care what I'm shooting at. Pretty sure the object on the right side of the screen is fairly large. I did it. We have stolen an Orin. Oh! Well, there was a menu there, and it went by real fast. Well, now it's 0.32 per step. It's getting expensive. Oh. I get them as they are. So, I had beaten Orin almost to death. So she has one health. Those are pretty good. Alright. What are your stats? Bad at magic. Really good at... Uh, at um, fuck, his cat's got fever. fever. Uh, this is all stuff. Oh my god, I don't care. Oh god. Wait, wait, wait. Get Scratch Fever. Weak physical attack to all enemies. Chance to apply poison. Okay. Hmm. I don't think the numbers matter too much right now, but it's something. The question is, why can't we pick up rocks and throw them onto pressure plates in this game? I feel like that's a, a missed opportunity. Satori has appeared. Well, let's just hijack. Right off the bat. Ah! The fact that she's using cards makes, makes me think that she might be related to a main cast member. Or she might be a main cast member. Or perhaps a shrine maiden type person. Probably. Like Pokemon. Okay. Oh, we can make them into money or items. That's interesting. Huh. Well, I remember. Tori's not yours. I'm sure the game's going to explain to me what happens when I fuck, fuck up the, uh... Um phone battery. When I run out of phone battery, I'm sure, I'm sure it'll, yeah, it'll be great. See, no problems here. Definitely magical. Definitely magical. Healing spell. Evasion debuff. Steal MP from one enemy and evenly distribute to all allies. Ooh. That's really good, actually. Hmm. Probably gonna need to start to balance my uh, my party with my battery. Well, that's where we entered. I'll find out. It's a Koishi who's flickering like fucking crazy. Oh, I can't hijack. Oh, interesting. I think I might be. No, no. Never mind. Oh no! I'm still not sure what part of me I need to be protecting. I thought it was the, the front, but I think it is somewhere near the back. Well, I guess I gotta beat this one to, to death. Oh. Amazing. It's the very center. I'll have to try again. Ooh, um, any more grimoires? No. Oh, whenever we touch that, we get full battery. Well, that's handy. Do we get full health, too? I don't even know if I was injured, to be honest. Uh, 
Uh, I have a Satori. I don't need another one. Right now it seems easy enough to just... Oh, this special attack requires, well, spell card points. I see, so I can't just spam uh, mana steal or anything like that. Neat. Just gonna shoot my gun. So that makes me wonder... Hmm... We're the only person that matters. We're very selfish. We need to make sure we don't die and make sure other people do die. We might want to tank up a bit. If we're basically playing as a Pokemon master, what, where we are actually in the fight, we can take damage during the battle. Uh, we should take care of ourselves the most. More than anyone else, for sure. I do have a feeling that when our battery runs out, we just lose all our Pokemon, and then we're gonna... Oh, that was a one-way... That was a one-way door. Hello, Orin. Got 17 bucks. Well, back in we go. Yes, this is Pal World before Pal World. Exactly. I guess we do have a gun, don't we? Uh, we want to steal this one. I'm gonna try hitting it a little bit. I don't know why it's flickering. So let's see, now that's a little injured. Is this noticeable? I actually can't tell when it wants to do... Are they... They definitely start going straight and then at some point decide... when to turn. There we go. I'm gonna start curving toward me. We got her. Convert. Uh, there's something wrong with our Satori. Her leg was broken? I don't know if that's still a problem. Okay, well, this, this is probably better than Kasume. Ah! And it costs more battery to have better people versus, I don't know, that girl who's in, like, a barrel? It doesn't seem very good. Oh. It's Satori. We're just gonna beat her to death. Good. Very thrilling. Oh, that's up. Ooh. The menus don't give me enough... Oh, I didn't actually go down. Sometimes the minis don't give me enough leeway to say, whoops, what are you actually... Oh, it's another one way. How am I supposed to know that? Maybe it shows up on the map. Some Oni decided to throw a party in this tower. The mess they left might as well be toxic. Such a pain to clean up after them. I'll do it tomorrow. What? What? Okay, well... Actually, no. We're gonna be safe. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go get some more battery. Because these fights would be much, much scarier without a battery. Wait, did that heal me? No, it did not heal me. Oh god. It keeps turning me around. 76? Mmm. That is a reason to want to steal Pokemon. Hey, Anakoshi. How are you doing? Koishi's right here, even. Do I want to just steal Pokemon at full health so that I don't have to heal them? I'll heal for now. I'm sure money won't be so tight later. Alright, let's, let's try to get back up that tower. I shouldn't be taking damage for- wait a minute. Oh, never mind. They're dead. <laughs> They're just fucking dead. 
I skipped the first tower. I did. Oh shit, you're right. It's fine. We would have found it eventually. So, if I try to steal her right now, what happens is the question. Can I have multiple Satoris in my party? I bet there's a cap to how many you can have in the wings. Or will it just prevent me? Why don't we convert her into an item? A handheld battery? We got no money. I guess you don't get money if you uh, hijack. Even though you should still get their pocket money, but uh, don't worry about it. It's all a dream, remember? It's dream logic. You know Tori's friend, I'll let you in on a little secret. Did you know that it becomes easier to hijack a sleeper with the more injured it is? Well, now you do. Shrike was spoiling us. Can I do this right now? Not on a VSP. I guess we're gonna beat it to death. We beat it to death. Oh boy, um... Do I, do I do a vit build and just slam vitality? Uh, I might just go between strength and vitality. I. There's no way for me to know how magic works in this. Or how we obtain magic. You know? So I'm just going to be the Ungabunga because it's easy. Reliable. You can't run out of punch. Can I hijack you? Can't. But we're going to be doing these a lot, huh? I can see why people might want the negotiation uh, grimoire just to make this faster because I think there's probably going to be a lot of time burnt just by doing bullet hells. However, I will get better at bullet hells. Yeah, and gun has infinite ammo. I didn't expect that. What does Orin turn into? Actually, no. How much money do I get? 119? That covers medical bills. It's not bad. Seems like hijacking is just a the thing to do at all times. Wait. I want to go... this one. Oh, this is... Why is there just an empty fucking room? That's weird. Gun is a fantastic spell. Cue that old animated movie where a wizard literally pulls out a gun from his robes and shoots the villain with the gun. Which is one of the best scenes in uh, animated history. Well, beaten her to death. Now, we don't get more SP unless we beat something to death, so there is that. Nothing. I'm sad you can't sidestep out of rooms. <laughs> Just sneezing. Don't worry about it. But yeah, for some reason, the room thresholds you cannot wander through easily. Thank you, Lemons. Ooh, a chest, finally. We got life shards, which are fine. up. No. I want to try to clear up this floor. Alright. What does Orin turn into for money? Oh, sorry. What does Orin turn into for an item? Because we did the money last time. Three life shards, that's actually really good. Like, really, really good. A chest. Got a hundred bucks, not bad. 
Not as good as that, not that hijack we just did, but it's still pretty good. I wonder how large these towers are. I have to step on every square. I want that clear bonus. Oh my god, more than one at once. Well, I'm gonna shoot that one. Yeah, let's do weak force. Lauren is a melee character. Uh, nice attack. Now, the good old persona lets you know if you're trying to do something that someone is weak to or resistant to. I don't know if this game is going to be that kind. <laughs> Love tap. Uh, weak physical attack cannot reduce target's HP to zero. That's interesting. Hmm. Oh, wait, that's, that's a Pokemon thing. You know, throughout the entirety of uh, Pokemon Scarlet, I never found False Swipe. I was... I didn't know it was called False Swipe. But I don't think I ever found it, and I really wanted it. A Soul Stone. What does this do? Revive an ally to 50% HP? Okay. So I can pick up my Pokemon myself sometimes. Um, I'm curious. If I hijack the same person and turn them into an item a second time, are they always going to be the same item? Or is it random? It's probably random on a small pool, but you never know. Item. That was the same as last time. Oh, that didn't even take my turn. That was just a thing that happened between turns. That's really good. Now, I did notice that there's no, uh... There's no stat to increase... Ooh, a switch. Okay, three more to go. There's no, um... Stat to decrease or increase efficiency for my battery. Yukuri appeared. We participated in a fateful encounter. I don't have enough... Wait, that's not a sleeper! I don't have enough for an SP. Oh no. Is this like the golden hands? Well, I'm gonna use a gun. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try Agni. I'm gonna try a weak mind attack. Immune to... Fire. I mean to gun, I mean to wind, I mean to mind. Let's try sword. Let's try. Hmm. Let's just try a regular attack, because she's got nothing else. I've uh, got nothing else over there. Let's try ice. I mean to physical. I mean to ice. Now this is a persona. Hmm. Oh, that's true. Lightning. Lightning. I don't think I have lightning. I don't think anyone here has lightning. That is a shame. Yeah. Looks like I have a fair amount of time to try things, too. I can't fight her, I'm running away. If I had a significant amount of SP, I could have tried to hijack. Oh wait, no, not a sleeper, can't hijack. It's gotten so lively here lately. Although, seeing so many copies of Lady Satori in one place makes, me, makes my head hurt. Oh. Thanks, random fairy.
we're just gonna beat these to death. Oh no! Ice damage. We got money. I think the only thing that bothers me about this game so far is the men is the way the chat boxes work. Actually, there might be a way to fix that before I bitch too much. Fast. That might fix it. Because I'm tapping it, thinking that it's gonna like end the sentence, and then I end up tapping when the sentence has already ended, moving on to the next thing. Just a bit of a pain. Uh, can I hijack? No. The auto button's really nice. I'm really glad it exists. Um... Fuck it. Big and strong. Big tank. I hope that skill is worthwhile. Uh, I need to go get some battery. Also, I'm going to try waking up, see what that does. I think this just means I can save. Maybe other things happen too. Nope, it's, we're just here. I guess, there's nothing else we can do. That's depressing. Yeah, we could, when we get low. Uh, let's go back up this other, uh... other tower. It's an ambush. Oh no! So that value Atma I think is just a buff. I still don't know why they're flickering. Don't know if that's like... Is that a graphical thing? There aren't really any graphical uh, selections here. No, oh, I don't know. They had to walk. Maybe they chased us from the front, but it seems like we walked past them. Let's hijack. Let's get some money this time. Also, we do have a couple handheld batteries, so even if we did run out of battery in a bad spot, we would be able to, um, like, fix that problem. That... Mm, Third time's a charm. Battery? Always a battery. That seems too consistent to not be true. And I think batteries are kind of expensive. I'll have to double check. As I walk around, wasting battery, just to make sure I cover everything. Why is this place foggy? Oh, feeder. We got a crit. Even on the mini map, this area is a little weird. Interesting. Wonder. Oh, I'm poisoned. Or something. Something's wrong with me. Uh, we're gonna hijack. Because I think she gives us healing items. Think. It is interesting that there's however many enemies are in this game, uh, each one has its own bullet hell. Like, that's a lot of effort, right? Life shards. So what... What is my status right now? Oh, my status is normal. Oh, Orin's poison. Well, no one cares about Orin. That's yeah, fine. Orin's fine. Everyone's poisoned. Everyone's a little poisoned. This area is kind of shitty. <laughs> chest. 
Five antidotes, it's cute. Oh. Uh, we're gonna hijack and get some money. Because we're gonna go and heal soon. Was it luck that helps you with status effects? Because I might want to do luck too. I think it was luck. Money. How bad is the poison for two? Two? We can survive that. Probably long enough to hit a switch. Oh, it's all poisoned up here anyways. Fuck it. Everyone's doing great. <laughs> Things are less than ideal now. Uh, you know what? I could heal, uh... Everyone's a little low, actually. Oh, hey, those fairies are weak to fire. Oh, they did a uh, attack that hit everybody. Let's see if we can heal everybody up. I can probably use spells outside of combat too. Let's see. Nope. Oh wait, can I have people on the? I could have people just, like, in the wings with healing spells and just use them as mana batteries. I think. If I got another couple Satoris, I could just have them around for healing and that's it. Eh, yeah, fuck. Let's just, uh... I don't know if that's worthwhile, but that would be interesting. Next Satori I see, I'm gonna try to grab her. Hijack. Got my heal bot Pokemon. Convert. Oh, you can't have more than one Satori. Ah, that's how they get you. That's how they get you. Can't be too clever. I can still have Satori as a backup, but I cannot have infinite Satoris. The entire party cannot be Satori. I was kind of hoping you could do that, and there would be an achievement for being really stupid. And a very unbalanced party. Oops, I just took a one-way block. That's not smart right now. We're gonna go this way. I wish when I opened the map and backed out, it didn't bring me to this menu. I'd want to just get straight back to the game. And I probably... I'm assuming that the help people give you, um... Give you mana when you use them. Um, I don't think I've hijacked this one for an item. No, I haven't. This is a different pattern. I was also not aiming nearly high enough. There we go. I do have to actually hit them. I want an item. Antidotes, oh. 
I have so many antidotes, I should probably start using them, but... I think we're pretty close to being done this area. I think the switch is, like, in this door. Yeah, there it is. Two locks remaining. We're not that far from healing, from help. We're a little, we're a little bit far from help. It's probably fine. And our battery slipped too. At least now we recognize the one-way doors, or the one-way walls. Heal. 520? Oh, they did say that status effects are more expensive. How much are antidotes? They're only 10. Oh, sorry. No, I have 10. They're co they cost 200 a pop. That'd be cheaper. The 500 covers my health. It covers... Antidotes. Four antidotes would be 600. So it's cheaper to use help. And it is full mana. Uh, yeah, full mana too. You know that metal door at the back of the palace? It's strangely warm to the touch and I can hear screams behind it. Yeah, yeah, stay away from there. Oh, 800. Yes, math is hard. Oh shit, sorry, I was supposed to... Supposed to have the battery run out. Whoa. Uh... Thanks, Windows. Another Satori. Beat her up. Oh, she... She has a weird thing with an eye attached to it coming out of her. I don't think I've been noticing that. Oh, this is the door with the screams. I see. I wonder if I auto gun or not. I haven't been paying attention. That might be the, the drawback. Well, this is a lot of nothing. Why even have a, root, a building like this if there's so much nothing in it? It looks like I am not using my gun on my auto. Some excess energy is leaking into this tower from the nuclear reactor. Keep away from any- I'd keep away any electronic devices from there if I were you. Huh. I wonder if I'm gonna lose my party for the nuclear fight. Or if I have less time or something. Oh. This room drains my battery. Every step. The floor is evil. Thankfully, we have a bunch of uh, batteries that totally wouldn't be affected by this. Shut up. Oh, I guess we're just gonna keep going up. Oh. But we gotta touch every square. That's unfortunate for us. Okay, well, we know that this one gives us batteries. So if we need a battery, we can get it from her. I can't remember the last time I actually played a Toho game. Like an actual bullet hell Toho game. And no battery. Oh boy, what are we gonna do? Guess more strength. Strength is also health, so... Pairs well if we're switching off with Vitality. Ooh, a student uniform. Alright, another 5 defense, that seems pretty good. I don't have anything in... I think those are gloves. That's a helmet. 
That was worth a thousand. Oh, nice. Which is why you never, ever buy equipment unless you're absolutely sure it's special. I'm just gonna keep stealing batteries. These, I'm pretty sure these were expensive. I meant to go check. I'm con also considering making it negotiation based, but I'm. It's weird. It's weird. I'm not sure what to do. Oh, we can't have any more. Oh, well, that's nice. I can't infinitely hoard. That's probably best for me. Because I probably would want to. Oh, that's brutal. I think Linus's wish is going to come true soon. So we are left with zero, almost zero battery. I do like how classic this game feels. But with like modern looks, or modern, at least well stylized looks, and uh, better controls than a lot of those other dungeon crawlers we've seen. Huh. I think I got debuffed there, but it didn't last very long. Okay, we are done on this floor. Oh, we didn't even take any extra uh, leak damage. Electric leak damage. Oh god. This better not wear off the moment... Oh god. The moment we get into a fight. Okay, so your party disappears. Got it. Good to know. That gave us back 30%? It's not bad. Now we still always lose a little bit of better per step. This one, this one. This one. Oh, five out of eight. We can only have eight people in our party right now. Interesting. Which asked? Life shards. So we want to steal another Satori. Because she's made of batteries, I guess. Oh, handheld battery. Well, never mind. This is quite the tutorial area. I like the way it's laid out. It's like you're poisoned. Why not have these antidotes? Of which I, you know, hoard instead of using because I'm like, well, what if I need them later? I'm just gonna use two. That'll. That should keep us for the rest of this area, especially as I continue to walk in the wrong directions. Oh my god, we're done here. Why am I backtracking? Oh no. It's, it's fine. I, you know, we have a lot of batteries. It's fine. I forgot I hit the button. Or pulled the lever. Now it's this big room. You can tell I'm looking at the map, because I've walked right into that wall. I think that is the one shame of having a game like this that doesn't have much going on visually. Like, the environment's fine, but I have, z I have almost zero reason to actually look where I'm going. Did you know, allies in the back row deal and receive less damage? It's the ideal position for your healers and supports. Wait, how do I change that? Oh my god, it says front and back. It said that the whole time. I can change where I am. So one and two are the, fr are the front. Uh, Orin... I don't remember who these people are. So Orin is a damage dealer. Uh, Koishi's also a damage dealer with 
meta vitality and general defense. So... Oops. So Orin and Karishi up front, and then myself and Satori in the back. I should have a gun most of the time. Oh wait, I wonder... I want to read that again. I'm thinking about this logically, but this is these are video game rules. I do less damage, period. Even if I'm using a gun. So never mind, I do want to stay in the front. But Orin should be in the front. That makes more sense. If I get really fucked up or something, I guess I could run and hide into the back. But it probably doesn't matter most of the time. But what happens if I get to 100% SP? It looks like it's getting more dangerous as it gets higher. Alright, I'm gonna go get health and mana. Well, I'm gonna go get battery. I said health, but I, I meant a thing very different from health. And fuck it, we'll sleep. Or we'll wake up to save. To write about our dreams and our diary, and then go back to bed. I hope we can do something more with this. Because it feels weird that we just wake up and there's literally nothing else we can do. I want to stay on this slide. All right, we gotta find that last tower. Oh no, an ambush! It's interesting. The enemy does do decent amounts of damage. Like eight damage when you only have thirty-six health. It's kind of threatening. What's this? There's no one here. You feel uneasy, so you decide to leave. Huh. That's suspicious. What do we need to do about that? Our SP is fully charged. Maybe once we beat the boss or something, we can go back there and take a peek. I guess I could I could be hijacking to get money. You should always aim for enemy weaknesses. Not only does it increase damage, but you'll also gain some SP. Ooh. That's handy. However, I've been auto-fighting my way through, so I mean... <laughs> it's you again, Four Eyes. This tower got possessed by a vengeful spirit recently. I took it back to hell, but the negative energy still remains. Take care not to lose your mind. See ya. Oh, is that why that spot was uneasy? Let's hijack for some cash. Oh god. I don't know why this pattern's throwing me off. It's just, it's throwing me off. I'm not looking at the right thing. Oh, so if you fail, it does turn into an action fight. We're gonna try this again. What if there's a way to increase my agility or something? I move just a little bit faster. I just moved a little, a little tiny bit faster. Money! 168. You're good. Oh, but if we only hijack, we also don't get an experience. Ah, what a what a trade-off. Levels are good. A thousand bucks! Yeah, we should be killing people. We're finding money. It is funny that my starting Pokemon are gonna be pretty tough. 
If only agility. Wait, does agility impact you during bullet hell mode? Because I would not have expected that. Oh, you don't know. God damn it. Just fuck it. Don't want to lose my mind. Oh, I'm losing my SP. Hmm. Well, let's beat her. Wonder what happens if we go negative. Student hat. Uh, I can't change my abil. I can't change my items right now. That's interesting. Uh, actually, no, I don't want to go up. Well, I don't think having no SP is going to kill me. Because there's not much I can do about it. We're gonna find out in just a second. Full discovery bonus. I forgot to put the hat on. Beat her. Hmm. The strength is really good. I think I'm gonna do some luck. Because it has something to do with statuses. The statuses seem really nasty. Oh, that full bonus, that full uh, exploration bonus got us 250 bucks, which is pretty good. So I find this to be a problem in most games that have a really in-depth magic system. When it's faster to just punch someone even if it's more effective or even more efficient in-game to use magic, in real life, I, it's just so much easier just to spam punch. And I have a hard time justifying the real-life time spent on, like, strategically using my magic. Hey, I hit a switch. Uh, I find this especially to be a problem in old games like Angband or other... Or, like, uh, Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, those types of games. Yeah, I'm sure it'll matter more later. Uh, or when I'm in a situation like this where I'm like, maybe I should, like, probably try a little bit. Well, those lesser fairies are pretty weak. But just in general, I, I've noticed that it's a problem. Because you also want magic to feel different than just its melee with extra extra steps. Uh, map? I can't even access my map right now, son of a bitch. Uh, I got gloves that I can't use until I get out of this hellhole. I must find my way out. I appreciate that the minimap is obscured, but not entirely. So we have this hat, gives us more magic defense, and we have gloves, which give us more magic attack. Okay. Sure. And I'm pretty sure it said we cleared out that upper area. So we are free to leave. I need to go... Oh, we didn't explore over there. Which is where I'm going, actually. Better is also getting a hey, full discovery bonus. An unknown device stands before you. On further inspection, it appears to be a computer terminal. The word Kappa can be seen on its side. Well, you do access. Use multiple sleepers together to make a stronger one. Skill tra- oh, this is Persona. Transfer selected sleeper skills to another party member. Transfer selected sleepers elemental affinity to Sumereko. Oh. 
Erase a sleeper from memory. Save and download sleepers. Oh. This is absolutely just Persona. Check the full list of possible fusions with sleepers in your party. Wow. She seems pretty good. I bet we can't do it until our level gets high enough. What even is our level? Uh, can I uh, can I do it? Sumeraku is too weak to fuse this sleeper. Database fusion list. We're either nine or ten. Oh god, we'll we'll figure out where the fuck that is at some point. We level nine. status. Oh, he, we can see your level from here. So we don't hit, care about Kasume. I mean, we don't care about any of these people, really. Arcee? Oh, she's a magician. She is a magician. Alright. That's cute. But how do I raise my S-Link so that this becomes more powerful? Persona 3 Reloaded is actually really good, by the way. It's, it's quite a good uh, remake of an older Persona. I think DS had some problems with the, like some moral problems with the gun thing. Uh, honestly, Sacrifice. Sacrifice the sleeper strengthening another. I'm gonna I wanna try that later. Um Honestly, I saw the intro cut just if you watch the intro movie to the game, they they do the suicide with the gun thing, even though it's not a it's not even a gun, but they do the, the persona thing. It's really funny. Because of how quickly they're all- it's showing each person doing a different way of shooting themselves in the head. It is just laughable. There's no way- even if you have gun trauma, there's no way you can watch that and not start laughing at how fucking absurd it is. Also, small spoilers for the game. I didn't realize they had to shoot themselves in the head every single fucking time they use any Persona abilities. Ever. Every turn you use a Persona ability, they shoot themselves in the head. It's so stupid. I like it because it's dumb, but it is not good. It was not a good choice. Uh, it's, oh. <sighs> okay, we have some upgrades. Oh, we can have more Pokeballs in our pocket. Okay. Failed hijack no longer gives enemies a free turn. Ooh. Emergency power. Running out of battery will no longer return any summoned sleepers, but summoning new ones will not be... Oh. Doesn't this just remove... Battery as a problem? That's super fucking good. I can almost avoid all of these, actually. Uh, let's grab this one. Can I just... Do, do it? I can just do them. Okay. These just appear to be permanent. This one might keep increasing. Uh, fi fast hijack. If Sumeraku's level exceeds a sleeper's level, instantly perform a successful hijack. Hey, that solves my problem. That's nice. I just need a bunch of money. Sweet. This game's good. Uh, it looks like one of the people I'm now missing 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 is uh no gun. Is that Kawishi here? Oh yeah, my gun is very good. My gun is very strong. Uh, I do only have two people in my party now. My battery's about to run out, but it's fine. Hello. Oops, no, whoa, I didn't mean to... Fuck it. Fuck it. Get out, get out of here. We got, we got more points.
Yeah, we'll save. Why not? I do have the bucket girl, but she's also trash to the point where I don't even care. Wait. Wait a second. Wait a second. She isn't in my party. I... Who did I merge? I merged Orin and someone. Kawishi? Orin and Kawishi. Okay. Okay. That makes more sense. Actually... Uh, Percy should be in the front. Because I believe... Nope. RC is a damage dealer, not a support. What is Dipara? Remove debuffs on all allies. Ooh, that's super good. And we can Actually, she's a bit of a mix. Hmm. Hmm. Bit of a mix. All right, so we hit everything. I would like to get enough cash. I need it. I need another person. I need Kawishi or Orin. Oh, it, it said something about the database. I think it said she was already in the database. I'm trying to get better at this, but I am doing not as good as I want to be. Got no money. Oh god, how do I? There we go. I think we're going this way. The door is open to send into the remains of Blazing Hell. The review I watched used that Bucket Girl as much as they could. Interesting. Weird. Yeah, maybe the, maybe it's a magic harp situation. Oh. Well, this music goes pretty fucking hard. Okay. I wonder if it's safe to be in here. I get 500 bucks. It's wonderful to be in here. Your body handed over. Uh oh. No. Ooh, new people. Yugi and Parsi. Oh, but I just made a Parsi. Why is this Parsi's eyes doing that? He's gonna try to kill the Parsi. Oh, immune to wind. Resistant to gun. I think that's maybe why you have sword and gun, so you have different attack types. Oops. Didn't actually want to hit this one. Whoa, that was a lot of damage. I'm gonna steal you. Not enough SP. She took my SP. She took my SP. Let's try a bunch of different things. Gun's not very good. Ice is okay. Oh, weak to wind. You know what? Because we've already done most of the damage. Yeah. May as well just finish him. A lot of experience. I think the difficulty might have just spiked a, bit, a little bit. Chest. 500 bucks. Oh. Vengeful Spirits Chiari. Well... Probably want to try to steal her. Interesting. Oh no. We're fine. See how these patterns might get a little tricky. Aha! I almost got hit, but not quite. Steal her. Chiari is now yours. Shoot the ghosts. Uh, I'm actually gonna just do a heal, I think. Yeah. yeah. 
spirits hate wind, right? That makes sense. They're, well, I gotta crit on with my gun. Oof. Wait, was I accidentally choosing opposite? I was choosing the wrong ones. I'm just gonna keep the heel train going. So you have to buff yourself and then remove the buffs to heal everyone by percentages. That's neat. Kid, are ghosts weak to mind, maybe? Nope, immune! Because they're, they're ghosts, they don't have minds. And we got a life gem, not a life shard. Ah, there's fire everywhere. My skin is gonna burn. Wait, I don't have any. That's pretty good. Silly ghost, you can't die. You're already dead. Yeah, I don't have her yet. Oh, here we go. I was gonna say, that didn't look very... Oh, it's from all sides, of course. Oh, God. The one genre I don't play much is bullet hell. Jesus. We stole Yugi. Actually, is this? Oh, this is to all enemies. Um, yeah, we'll just do wind, I guess. I'm not too concerned about my, um, my mana yet. Oh, right, I mean, right. Weak to mind. Oh, she healed herself. How dare she? In this honorable duel. Unforgivable, unforgivable. Yeah? What? What? Okay, well... We gotta... Oh my god. What the fuck is happening? Why is she so mad? Do I not have this one? Did I weaken her last time? Or is it... No, I know this is Parsi. I have Parsi. I just... I didn't steal her. I fused her. Right. Right. But I wanted to see. I'll get a remedy, whatever that is. It's auto attack. Twenty-five bucks. Hmm. Well, I really wish I understood the impact of these numbers better, because I could be making terrible mistakes. Oh yeah, I wanted to uh, look at my new party members. So this person's lady, level 10. They're probably just better than what I have based on their raw stats. Let's see if that's true. So for reference, here's us. We are lopsided. It's fine. But we have a strong attack and defense. We're looking at Chiari, who is pretty well-rounded. Oh, you can reorder their attack, their skills. That's nice. Yugi is off, is a melee fighter for sure. She's following our school of thought. Big strong, big unga, big bunga. So, Yugi, it was there. That was the right person? I don't, I think so. Oh, you know what? That's kind of cute. They have full sprites, and then they also have their chibi strike, their chibi sprites. That's a lot of extra content. But they didn't, ha they didn't have to do that, they, but they did it. 
Oh, who the Utsuho? You seem important. Oh. I see. Well, ain't this a bitch. Are those angled to I think those are angled toward me. Ow. Uh oh, I might be f No? Okay, there is a way through. It's just a bit of a bitch. Oh, that was close. That's a tough one. Steal her. Oh, there's a... I need to steal the the regular fire and also this new creature. Physical attack to all enemies. Let's try that. Vision stab. Weak pierce. May, chance to blind. Copy one ally's skill for this turn. Skills cost still apply. Huh. So if you have someone, if you personally have an, a, an ultimate skill, you could have a party full of people who just mimic you. That's neat. Uh, let's try burning this thing, I don't know. Weak to fire. Zombie fairy, yes. Yeah, I feel like Mimic isn't a really good skill in Pokemon. Because at least to a casual like myself, you would... Why are you copying the move of someone who, like, if they're a water type and you copy their water move, it's not like it's going to be super effective. Yeah. That must be like a tournament-only thing or something. I don't know. Oh, did it change a lot? I see. All right, well. Oh, oh wait, no, they're bouncing. I understand now, they're bouncing. It changes my percep perception of what's going on. I thought they were spawning. There we go. I thought it was completely random, but now that I know there's a pattern, it's easier to see. What did, she makes a magic fabric, which I'm pretty sure was expensive. I think that's a teleport. Uh, just hit her. Beat her. Beat her real good, thank you. Um, we could probably use some healing. I have healing spells, I just apparently forget to use them. Wait, why am I using spells? Shit. Uh, doesn't one of these people have a... Wait, no. Who's even in my party? I'd want to use Satori as a heal bot out of out of battle. I need to change her name to heal bot. That's all she will ever be used for. Okay, well, oh, I can't hijack. I've already forgotten what these people are weak to. I'm trying to stab that person. They are resistant to piercing, which is gone. We do have a lot of slots. Oh wait, no, we're at eight slots? Oh, shit. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Oh, that, they're resistant to just all physical. Hmm. Well, I brute forced my way through it. It's actually crazy that I can do this. It's very useful. Well, I know that she is weak to physical stuff. Or at least not resistant. I'm gonna try to blind the spellcaster there. Oh, weak to gun. Okay. What? 
You know, I just realized I'm not... Uh, I don't think I'm getting magic defense up, am I? Was there a stat that did magic defense specifically? I know I have, this person's present in the database. see what she turns into. Intermag? Okay. I might end up being more, um, more balanced than I would have expected. Wait, is, there's a way to auto-heal. I wonder who just used magic. Hmm. Game's not gonna tell me. I would hope it would use backup members magic first. A chest. Magic fabric. So if you're in way too deep, pretty sure that's what this does. Yeah, teleport to the last anomaly. An anomaly, yes. Anomaly. So I'm going to focus on her. Oh, resistant to shoot. Oops, no, wait, I didn't actually mean to do auto fight. Whoopsie. Yeah, they're weak or neutral to magic. They're a physical brawler type. So, 31, 23, 33, 13. Okay, I did not... I did not use any magic from any of the current members. That is... that's smart. They thought about it. Hey, Four Eyes. What, you're going inside the reactor? But I have some fire protection, or she will burn you to a crisp. Otherwise, I won't be able to retrieve your corpse. Uh, I guess we'll respond with four ears. Why you? Well, it's your funeral. Bad end. Locked in. Because I was slightly rude. Uh, I guess I need to get fire resistance through the Kappa machine? Oh, immune to fire. I'm actually just gonna try to focus down this one. Oh, there we go. That's a lot of experience. Oh god, I don't know which one's which. Hmm. Does anyone... Does anyone know? I can't believe it makes it this difficult to know what the stats are. I could just do more strength for now. I'll go back and talk to that person again. I also need to go back and, like, heal and save. Oh, yeah, I don't have one of these yet. Oh, it's not a sleeper. Oh. Okay, well, I guess I'm stealing you. Oh god, that was a little risky. Item. Magic fabric. Oh, I should probably heal. I think my healing battery has run out of juice.
Can I hijack you? Not a sleeper. Ah, let's do this again. Oh, I can't. Oh god, I can't pause right now. I wanted to read that. Oh, it was such a clean getaway too. Oh god. Ooh, that was really close. Um, I want money. 200 bucks. Uh, Vit is for physical defense. Int does magic defense and MP. Okay. So I don't care about madge. I care about int. Guns don't take strength into account. Ah, shit. Well, now we know. That was a spooky ghost. All right, we're just we're just crashing through. Taking damage, but well, we're dealing damage. Oh, I think there was an auto mode I could have picked. Um, let me look at the menu. Auto battle. I don't know what this means, but maybe the AI would do their their best attacks with that. I might do that if things get risky, but I guess we'll do focus attack for now. It would be funny if the game turned into basically an auto battle. <laughs> no, no, the game's playing itself, basically. Vision stab. It's just a fancy way of saying oh, they're gonna stab me in the eyes. Display of power. Increase attack by two levels for both parties? Huh. Everyone's real low on mana. Welcome to hell, enjoy your stay. I should have I should have probably found that person a lot sooner. Alright, let's get some uh some rest. I would say rest, but we actually need to wake up. Been sleeping too long. level 11 right now. I don't think it's worth trying to fuse anybody. Uh, eh, fuck it. It's probably fine. Wait, did I even look at the fancy one I stole? I never even looked at it in Soho. Heavy on the magic attack. What was the other one? She has better magic attack, though. And it has some healing. Red Sun over Paradise? Elephant Kick, weak physical attack to one enemy, chance to confuse. Red Sun over Paradise, strong fire attack to both parties. Why would you want that? However, I could steal her element and become, um, I guess, fire heals me? That sounds pretty useful. This is, this is just, this is just Persona. But as a, well, Persona's already kind of a dungeon crawler. It's Persona as a classic dungeon crawler.
Oh, it's, that's just done now. So I need eight, 8,000 more dollars to do the fast hijack. Uh, give me this one. So now I'm weak to... Does anyone else have a good fire? Actually, I think Chiari's better. Oh, that sleeper will be erased. Oh. Hmm. Piercing doesn't seem uncommon. That'd be really fucking funny, Lamus. I guess in this trait this uh game would have to be an ice boss, but I could just find a new Chiari. It seems it seems pretty good. Yeah. Stole your body. Well, Persona doesn't do this, that's for sure. Well, I, well, not in the same way. Good question. Uh, what was her name? Chiari? It would cost me 600 bucks. I could do it, but it would cost me 600. And I'm broke. And cheap. So I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. Let me go get a fresh one. Now, if I had made a... Sp you know what? I'm level 11. Yeah. Let's see who we can fuse. From the database. No one special. I don't know who the fuck this is. Who the fuck are you? A Kadama. Uh, you know what? Yugi and Orin. Does it cost me... Oh, Yugi's a real person. Hmm. You know, when I have a bunch of money, I guess I'll do that. Who, who are you? Nothing special? Okay. Level 30, level 40. Jesus. Yeah, I'm just gonna go find a new one. Those Pokemon are everywhere. Why would I have to buy one? Dead. Gotta make sure we don't go down a dead end. Well, while I don't have a fourth person, this is a little scarier. That is one reason you why you'd probably just want to just buy it. Eh, just keep doing that. I guess I could slam slum it out uh, someone else in there. You're not wrong. Who else I got? Utsuho, get in there. I guess that the Chiari wasn't like very special or anything. But there's one now. I think we want to do mostly magic here. As I say, as I have two physical. I know for a fact the person on the left is not resistant to this magic. Ooh, weak to wind and lightning. A 
little bit of money to level up. So we said magic. Will make me a little stronger. Oh shit. Hmm. Hmm. I literally just saved. It's fine. We'll fix this. It's terrible naming. It's terrible naming. Why did I even lose Chiari? Oh, because I, I took her, um, her mind or whatever. Well, now we saved a tiny amount of money, because we don't need to fix Chiari from stealing her soul. For fire resistance, right. Nope. Infinity transfer. Yeah. Took your body. And then we did this for fun. Now I'm gonna be smarter this time and immediately put someone else into that fourth slot. Like, no time was even wasted. Oh, we get some antidotes. People usually don't drop items, so that's interesting. Maybe if you kill on a weakness, they have a chance of dropping items. To be even more Persona-like, where if you do the, uh, the group attack, you're guaranteed a special, uh, special item or something. Dead. I need to see if I can find some better armor or something. The game doesn't seem to offer too much equipment. God, I hate that the... Ch the tough physical lady is always on the left because she's the first one to target. So I can't just do an auto fight against against the pair of them anyway. There we go. It's, yeah, she's resistant, but she's not immune. So if I just keep hitting her, she'll eventually fall over. What if I went the wrong way? It seemed like the bottom right was where the boss was going to be. Oh no, vision stab. Rude. My eyes, oh god. Stop stabbing me in the eyes. Okay, int, not magic. There we go. Everyone's been so excited in the past few days. Did something happen above ground? These are very talkative ghosts. Okay, I don't, hmm. It's probably fine if we just kill. Yeah, there we go. That worked out pretty well. Maybe you straight up get less experience the higher your level is. That's interesting. A handheld battery, not bad. That's an easy auto battle. We 
and just see what happens. Now, thinking back to other Dungeon Crawlers we've played, it might be a little annoying to just keep clicking the button over and over again, especially if there's very little feedback. But there's something to be said for at least you're doing something, you know? It is nice to do something. But maybe that's just me, because I've played a lot of things like Stone Keep and... God, whatever that one was where we were a single uh, adventurer and all the other adventurers fucking died because we didn't pick them. Mikhail, <laughs> Mashiel, what? Oh, I need to. Was that the name of his that character? Was it Michael? I thought it was. I want. I always want to say Barden, but I don't think it was Barden. Fuck, I'd have to look. Caution, live human sighted inside the furnace. What are you doing here? Snapping a selfie. Don't know what a selfie is, but I do know that you can't be here. You're not going to leave. You'll serve nicely as fuel for the nuclear furnace. Now turn to ash. Oh no. I, I did heal, okay. Gun. Uh, let's... Try basically a gun again. Let's try lightning. Let's try to lower their attack. Oh, they went first. Mitsuho is confused. Oh, they're weak to piercing. I'm gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna try to elephant kick him right back. I'm gonna keep lowering their uh, damage. Wow, she's really targeting herself here. Okay, gun seems good. Uh, gotta keep trying, trying to do that. Anvil of Dawn, yes, that's the one, thank you. I think I need to lower their attack once more. I might also be raising their attack a bit, and also having multiple turns for Turn. To be fair, I'm always getting three or four turns still. Gonna do a heal round. Oh, right, Utsuho keeps getting health if she uh, casts fire. Also, oh, this. Wait, can I steal this one? Not a sleeper. Oh, the evasion... Oh, we thought it was just like an evasion level. Like as a free perk, but no, it's a SP command we can do. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. And that doesn't even take a turn, which is even better. I guess that's what the foot means, is agility. Oh, Higney was a fire all attack. <laughs> Keep trying to confuse her. Red Sun over Paradise. Yuki's getting low. Oh, I can keep doing the evasion up. Oh, that's cute. off if I can. Hey, we did it! That means we killed a real person just now. That's a real person who is now dead. Whoops. Level up. 
Uh, let's let's get our intelligence up. Oh no, she's fine. What was that flash? What? You're already done here. Oh, um, still can't have you here. Want me to fly you back to the palace? Yeah. Oh, okay. They're nice after all. They were just kind of rude at first. I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna save. All right, I think now is actually not a bad time to stop. I wanna, I wanna take a longer break before we get to carts tonight. We are getting to carts tonight. I don't know why I walked into this room. I already saved. Um, but yeah, the game's pretty good. I think we'll keep doing this on Monday. But thanks for coming, thanks for watching. We'll be back in a couple hours to uh, try to get some shirts and burn some shirts. We have to burn somebody's shirt tonight. We might also have a bunch of new maps if Shifty was able to get to that. So yeah, see you guys soon.